my work is about simultaneity and the experience of being in more than one place at the same time that comes with migrating from one place to another, collapsing time, and, and more than anything, it's about imagining possible futures. My name is Beatriz Cortez. Um, I am an artist originally from El Salvador and I am based in Los Angeles. I have lived there for 20 years now. My work here, the memory insertion capsule that you see behind me, and another installation behind it, which is the multi. So memory insertion capsule is the result of my research in different archives at Caltech, the archive on genetics and other archives at UC Riverside and in other places that have um, the collection of documents by Wilson Popeno, who was the director of the Pan American School of Agriculture that was established by the United Fruit Company in Central America. And those are the materials that are inside the snippets of that archival research is what you see in a loop in a video that's in the eye that's hanging from the center of the piece. And, um, became really important to me because the United Fruit Company as a presence was at the heart of the reasoning why the United States ended up having military presence in Central America. And the eugenics movement was also behind um, the more contemporary discourse uh, against immigrants like me. And so I was interested in um, how their historic documents brought together those two parts of my life and I decided to make a space capsule that on the one hand evokes a Mayan temple from Tikal um, it has a Mayan archway etc but at the same time it also is a reference to what in Los Angeles is called a labor vernacular style of architecture uh, meaning a style of architecture that includes rigor rock a construction that evokes indigenous forms of construction, such as the pyramids in Mesoamerica, and it includes craftsman style of architecture. You see that, for example, the fireplace has this crown molding, and it evokes Spanish colonial repose or repujado. And um, at the same time, I also included um, the industrial design of Los Angeles. On the top, it has a tent that, at the same time that it evokes the housing crisis in Los Angeles, it also evokes the, the humanitarian crisis of immigrants and refugees around the world. The Multitude is a piece that I made um, in homage to the people of El Mozote, a town in El Salvador that was destroyed when I was 11 years old. Um, there was a massacre there where um, basically all the people of the town of El Mozote were killed and it is known as the largest massacre in the Americas. Hundreds and hundreds of people were killed but the, more than half of them were children under the age of 12 and because all the neighbors and all the relatives died, uh, many of the children were never identified. And when I was little, um, both the government of the United States and of El Salvador said that there had not been a town there and that the town of El Mozote had not been destroyed, but there was a team of forensic, um, forensic anthropologists that came from Argentina and unearthed the bones. And so what I did is I built a sound piece that has the names of all the dead in the massacre of El Mozote that had been recorded and the names of the children that are known and the rest are just called child. But um, it's like a palimpsest, one on top of the other until you have so many names that you're basically hearing almost like rain or this white noise that uh, gives you the sense of a multitude um, that's very difficult to comprehend. For me, it has been very spe a special experience to install this work here um, because there's this turret that is so beautiful in the center of this stairway inside the galleries here and that allows us to have this architectural 
structure that is almost embracing these names and also showering people with grow lights and with the sound as if you're invited to have this intimate experience with these names and visit um, the people who died in El Mozote. And so um, I'm very honored to be able to um, have this homage to them here in Seattle.